Talk about medical evidence. I think a good way to illustrate this is by my newly invented five minutes ago, Combat Craig's winning VA disability claim scale. Two columns, you versus them. I, I use the terms win or lose because you either win your VA disability claim or you lose your VA disability claim. There's no participation trophies. Well, <laughs> I guess there is participation trophies even in this. Boy, we've become soft as a country. So participation trophies would represent a low ball rating, I guess. All right, so we're going to talk about my feet. The first one is increasing my foot. And then the second one is connecting my right to my left foot on a secondary basis. I didn't know anything about increases or about secondary service connections. And you might be just learning about them uh, now, so stay tuned. Um, so I'm already at 10%, so I don't need to uh, establish service connection. It's already service connected, low ball rating, right? Um, severity of symptoms is what we're after here. And then reaffirming the diagnosis which is done with the severity of symptoms, or that's what happened in my case. I'd been seeking treatment for three years. My uh, plantar fasciitis got really bad. Um, I had to get my feet taped, um, insoles. I even got shots. And, you know, I didn't know about increases and stuff. So this is going on for three years. As often as I could see a podiatrist, that also helped seeing a foot specialist. And this was all done with a combo of, I uh, can't remember, care in the community, whatever, veteran's choice or whatever, and at the VA. So they were both, this was all done through the VA. I had consistent care for three years through the VA, like consistently, you know, like every couple months. I think that was a huge factor and that might have been the deciding factor. All right, let's use Comeback Craig's little math calculator here. You versus them, right? Um, I was already uh, service connected for my feet, so one point for me. Um, as if my feet got worse, I complained to the VA and I got treatment. Give me another point. The severity of symptoms were documented over the years and this was all done through the VA. Uh, I didn't even know I was building medical evidence. That doesn't really take points away. And I didn't know about an increase, but it was solid for three years. Insoles, shots, taping. It's given me another three points. So I finally learned about increases in secondary service connections. And I actually uh, wrote a personal statement. It was short. But I did use the word plantar fasciitis, which technically I probably shouldn't have because it's a medical term, um, but it's pretty common. So I did anyway. And I said that I believe that my right foot's plantar fasciitis was caused by my already service connected left foot, the plantar fasciitis in that foot. Um, so essentially, I wrote my own nexus. So that's a <laughs> negative two points for me. Um, that wasn't the best move. Uh, always recommend getting an independent medical opinion here, but there is the benefit of the doubt. There is a veteran friendly environment here and there's a duty to assist and all that kind of stuff. So I did okay. So I filed my claim about three weeks later, got a call, CNP exam. I had it done in a mobile medical clinic. I thought that was kind of funny. It was done in like a RV which actually worked out better because um, they watch you when you walk in and I literally parked right up next to it and hobbled up the stairs. And then when the doctor watched me walk around, it's like, really? Like, so you can tell by just why, like I could only take like four steps because it's like this little tiny back of a motorhome. But anyway, I knew my bullet points, right? Um, I went there to uh, say what I needed to say and I didn't really get a, an impression from the doctor. You know, he watched me limp around, he's frantically typing on his, what I now know is the DBQ, and he wasn't nice to me, and I don't even think he thanked me for my service. So when I walked out of there, my impression was, meh, didn't really know what to think. Um, you know, I had reviewed the CNP exam prep stuff, and nothing really jumped out at me. So I was like, all right, I'll just let this ride. Now I kind of had, independent medical evidence, but it wasn't an independent medical opinion because I was using the care in the community thing. So that's still basically VA doctors, even though they're outside doctors. Um, but the CNP examiner, I mean, they have a lot of weight, right? The VA rater gives him a lot of credit versus your medical opinion. 
So he actually confirmed everything. He diagnosed me with chronic pain syndrome. And um, he agreed that um, I was no longer mild in my left foot. And I was moderate severe, which ended up being a 20% rating. He also agreed that my right foot plantar fasciitis was caused by my left foot. So he did the, uh, the nexus there on at least as likely as not basis. So this does happen at CNP exams. It's better to have an independent medical opinion, but this is how mine went down. And then he um, agreed that my right foot was also moderate severe. So on top of that, I got a little kicker because since it was both feet, I got the bilateral factor. So I walked in there with a uh, 10% for my left foot and I walked out of there with 50% for both feet. And I believe that's a fair rating.